Well, the doctor's in with a new research on diet soft drinks. According to a decade-long study, people who drank low-calorie sodas actually gained more weight than those who didn't. Here to talk more about it is the co-author of the study, Dr. Dr. Marty McCary. He's a physician at Johns Hopkins, uh, uh, John Hopkins University. He's also a cancer surgeon, et cetera, et cetera. Long, long esteemed resume. And always great to have you, Dr. McCary. So tell us about this. We, we see these headlines often about diet soda not being good for you, but this is a different study because it spanned 10 years. What did you learn? Well, uh, in this study from Massachusetts General Hospital, they looked at groups of people that drank diet soda and groups of people that drank regular soda, and the outcome was weight, and they found there was really no significant difference in obesity rates, and there's a lot, of, a lot more things that go into obesity than just soda, but this was sort of an interesting new uh, aspect to look at artificial sweeteners. Some people thought they caused cancer. They've been around for 30 plus years. They don't have higher rates of cancer, but they may trick your body into thinking you're going to have sugar on its way. And when the sugar doesn't come, it creates that sugar craving that results in that late night binge eating, which often accounts for obesity. And Dr. McCary, we should correct that. You're not the co-author of the study, although uh, that's just a mistake that we had. But I am curious about how you looked at this study as a cancer surgeon because we've heard a lot about inflammation that's caused by artificial sweeteners, how inflammation is bad for the body for a lot of different reasons. And I'm, I'm just curious in your own personal life, how, how you view the diet drinks. Is it something you completely avoid or is it something that you can drink in moderation? Well, I think moderation is the way to go with all things in health. But, you know, we are going to be talking a lot more about inflammation as a medical condition five and ten years from now. It's related to heart disease, it's related to cancer, and it's caused largely by processed foods and things like sugar, which is why sugar is the number one thing I look for on a label at lunch or at the grocery store. And if there's one thing you can do with the biggest bang for the buck with your health, it's drink water. And be careful with these artificial sweeteners, be careful with the diet drinks because while they're not dangerous per se long term and causing cancer, they can promote that sugar craving and it's mm. sugar that really promotes inflammation good, and disease. Good to underscore that. We're showing soda on the screen, but artificial sweeteners in a lot of different drinks. I, I thought it was interesting that on election day uh, in a few different municipalities, including San Francisco and the county that includes Chicago, they did go ahead and pass soda tax proposals in those areas. Um, do you think that's the right, right way to go about bringing the moderation and getting folks to drink more water? There's a lot of sugar tax that's finally getting momentum in cities. A lot of people in public health have said this makes sense. You're either paying for the long-term consequences so you might as well pay, tax it up front. Um, all I know is that people need to watch out. We need consumers that are empowered to know that sugar is in everything. It's in tomato sauce and milk, and it's, in, it's added to iced tea and things you don't suspect it in. So look out for sugar. It's probably the one best recommendation we're learning more about in healthcare. We'll take it. Dr. McCary, great to have you as always. Thank you so much. Good to be with you.